For today's cup of coffee, this is already the second take. We, we didn't even make it 10 seconds in on the other one. We're going to be talking about one of my least favorite subjects probably on the planet, other than, than like trigonometry. I'm not a fan of the trigonometry. But who uses trigonometry? People who are in scientific fields other than myself and then like computer designer and are making like millions of dollars a year. That's how they know they can make the millions of dollars is because they know the trigonometries. But anyhow That's so low to shit. This <laughs> according to the American Psychological Association Dictionary of Psychology, you're gonna have to say it. Cholerophobia. 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 Yeah. An excessive, persistent, and irrational fear of clowns. Cholerophobia. Situations in which clowns may be encountered, such as birthday parties, circuses, are often avoided or else injured with intense anxiety or distress. Now, I found out something more interesting as I was doing the researches because I enjoy the researches. Mm-hmm. And it's from an article of uh, that's called "The Lost Origin of Cholerophobia: the, the Abnormal Fear of Clowns" by Tra- Travis Langley, Ph.D., which was published in Psychology Today. The cholero prefix alone is a mystery, and much less identifying who first paired it with the word phobia. And somebody else had said no ancient Greek words starts with kolro, and no other English words starts with the kolro. Apparently, somebody used the word in 1987, uh, but it identifies no source. And for all we know, that was a misspelling or something else. That was probably some redditor that created this. But this was probably this was what was interesting. Also, in the same article, I will post a link to this article. It's it's relatively short. In the early 80s, Lauren Coleman coined the term phantom clown to discuss accounts of children reporting individuals wearing multicolored clothes who reportedly were trying to entice school children into coming along with them. Individuals who reportedly disappear without a trace. Send the clowns. Mm -mm. Send the clowns. Send the clowns. I don't know that that even focused. Clowns. Clowns. I hate them. Send the clowns. I like the definition from the Urban Dictionary much better, which was what I knew. Uh-huh. Go ahead and show yours. No, 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 no. Which is bozophobia. <laughs> and that is the fear of clowns. If someone has bozophobia, as other phobias, they have, uh, or they have or used to have an extreme fear, unexplainable fear of clowns. The word was originally the name of the famous American clown character, Bozo. Then the suffix phobia, which means unexplainable explainable extreme fear, was added to the end of it to become bozophobia. Bozophobic is the adjective for someone who fears clowns. Bozophobe is the noun for someone who fears clowns. <laughs> for, for me, the Urban Dictionary, their, their definition is more accurate. Uh huh, yeah. And so the second clown face was one that Chai had made. Yeah, I'll show it again if I can you even see it. No. Where is it? Okay, this way. Look at the camera lens. Raise your hand up. All right, that's a little bit better. Don't drop it. Oh, God, that would be tragic. What? He's already had one mask break today, so that was awful. So. He does not, he thinks that the bozophobia is amusing because he doesn't have it. Yeah. I I have no problems with clowns. I like clowns. I like clown core, which is basically just clown stuff. Circus things. It's another one of these delusional groups of people that, you know... It's a style... Their soul is a clown. It's a... No, it's a fashion... Subgenre. That's not fashion. That's anti-fashion. That's like Dada of fashion. Dada was an anti-art movement that actually ended up becoming an art movement and and totally 
you know, blew apart what it was supposed to be. Yeah. That happens lots. Now, for me, I have had this since I was a small child. And I've never had it. And even those who do the Santa Claus thing. Uh-huh. And I was talking to somebody the other day and that their child was terrified of Santa's. You the, know, the fake Santa's, not the real Santa. You know, there's actually a lot of videos of children, like someone is dressed up as Santa, and the children will literally scream and run away. Right. Because, and, and in some ways, you can see that as a clown-ish type character. Yeah, I'm sure you You've could. got a very large, strange man dressed uh, in, in a way that no one in our culture today dresses normally that I'm aware of. I'm sure there's Santa culture or some shit like that. Um uh, uh, if, if there isn't, it's it'll be there soon. Just wait for it. And you want me to look on TikTok real quick? No, and and Santa white Cor. beard and wanting to sit. The whole the whole situation is bizarre. I mean, it truly is. And in today's world, I can see how children have become even more phobic of that because you know the whole stranger danger thing. And Santa Cor is not a thing. Well, you should start that. You could be a TikTok hero. Anyhow. <laughs> no, I got a story I need to tell. So, anyhow, as far as uh, when, I don't know, I was maybe seven, eight, nine, somewhere through there, and there was a circus that came to Tiny Town near us and did have clowns. Mm-hmm. And being a small child introvert that grew into large introvert. <laughs> yeah. When you've got these loud, boisterous, bizarre people that are running at you, <laughs> that would freak out most kids. Last time I was at the circus, there was this clown that came around with this giant pla- uh, giant pair of plastic scissors. They were blue, and he was snipping people's belly buttons. Oh, God. Now, see, that's funny. But he for, came around in the audience for a long time. Oh, that's what cl- clowns do. They interact with the audience. Uh, you even have as far as rodeo clowns, and the rodeo clowns, what they do, they are there to distract, like the bull. Mm-hmm. And it's a very dangerous job. I actually knew somebody that had been a rodeo clown. Yeah. And so it's like I said, it's a very dangerous job. If I could have gone to clown college, I would have. Anyhow, there was such a thing. So that was even before the creepy clown thing. But it's like kids, also, you've got a face superimposed on another face. It's just exaggerated makeup. That's a thing. Yeah, but in kid brain, not really. Yes and no. It's like another form of theater makeup. Uh, how many small kids do you know that just in everyday world are around the... You know, theater makeup stuff. Unless they're in a high-end family, like a rich family, no. Right. None. So these are, of course, I don't know, when you've got people today that are wearing, like, the uh, tarantula eyelashes and Out to here. and and the, the fake boobs and the fake butts, and all of which can be purchased cheaply <laughs> on, on Wish. Wish. And AliExpress. <laughs> um so maybe maybe the phobia of clowns. You is could even get male anatomy. You can get male che- male silicone chest plates as well. I could have gone without knowing that for the rest of my you life. Can. Anyhow, so. cosplayers use it all the time. Well, I guess that's true. But clowns freak me out. I never had a problem with clowns. As a matter of fact, I quite enjoy clowns. And then you had movies like it. It was a good movie. Well, now, as far as the, mini, the miniseries, the miniseries was great. The, you know, the one with the John Boy in it. I haven't seen the remake, but... Uh, I have not seen the remake. Apparently, and it's refused. more accurate to the book. Well, when it first came out, again, with the Tim Curry fan, and I thought, yeah. there is no way anybody is ever going to be Tim Curry playing Pennywise. Exactly. Plus, the design that they used for the new it, new Pennywise... Um, it was actually a rejected design from the original series. Well, at that point, I'd say that it was probably deemed too scary. 
because the miniseries, I think, it may not have been quite prime time, but it was still in that... It was definitely one of those television movies. It, it was. It was a, it was a miniseries and um, was actually very well done. Mm-hmm. Uh, but prime time usually was like 8 to 9 o'clock, and then the kiddies were sent to bed, and then they oh. would watch afterwards, which, you know... Almost like Adult Swim or uh, Nick at sort Night. Sort of. Sort of, that it was as for more mature kids and stuff like that. And I, I don't even know if they did disclaimers at that point. But um, it was a good miniseries. And would scare the hell out of you, especially if you had fear of clowns. So that didn't help the situation. I had actually read the book It, which is one of Stephen King's better ones. Mm-hmm. Now he's, he's had some bombs. He really has. Yeah, he has had some really <coughs> bad books. But I avoid clowns. I do. And, and, but what is weird, last year or so, when I found the Pennywise mug. She wanted it. And I used that one probably more than any of them. Yeah. I go through phases with it. I think it's you. strange too. But it is Tim Curry as Pennywise. Maybe that's why, because you know it's not an actual clown, it's just Tim No, Curry. I think it's just because that we're in clown world and it reminds me of the horror every day. I don't know, clown, clowns seem pretty happy to me. Oh, hell no, they're psychotic. <laughs> they're just psychotic with rouge. <laughs> and you know what's funny? You know the clowns that are made to be truly scary they're not scary to me either i don't know i don't know i was looking on a uh, spirit halloween and there was one i can't remember the name of the animatronic that they have brought back but it's scary distortions unlimited has they have some scary clown things and it's just like no i would drop kick something and i would mm-mm. i think it was distortions unlimited they actually had an animatronic that i wanted and it was called the thrasher or whatever and basically it was supposed to be like this asylum inmate right that was in a straight jacket or whatever right. and it would thrash about while it was standing yeah they have some really cool stuff but and i think they use that for a clown as well yeah that they is even not... have some clowns that like peep out from behind trees or whatever i don't want nothing peeping out behind the tree i would rather deal with one of the i, I don't know chupacabras or the whatever's it was than a clown wendigos and do you remember there several years ago and, and i'm sure that a lot of people i don't know if they're reporting the bozophobia because it's easier for me to say more than they used to, or they're admitting it, or whatever it is. But there have been more people preying on that fear, people actually dressing up as malevolent clowns, terrorizing people. Yeah, that was only a few few years ago, or whatever. Like, it was recent, like a few years back, or whatever, and people were dressing up as clowns, walking around streets, or whatever, scaring people, like, purposefully. So that's... You know, I, I <laughs> that is not cool. I mean, I understand as far as the spooky and different things like that, but that's just creepy. That that whoever's doing that, that could get them it's hurt. It's people. That could get them hurt badly. Yeah. Because I mean, what am, what am I going to do? First thing I'm going to do is punch in the face, and then I'm going to blow out a knee. How dare! I would how, dare. How dare. I will. I will cripple the clown. I will be... <laughs> cripple the fool. The <laughs> <Yeah. coughs> gal who's boo booed the fool now. Yeah. <laughs> because that is one thing when when somebody it doesn't matter whether someone else thinks it's funny or what. When someone has a phobia, and mine is just a dis- extreme dislike. I, even talking about it, you can tell it's just like. I think uh, it's also the fact with the, you're scared of balloons too, and they carry balloons. Well, that's probably true. I do have a thing about balloons, and it's it is like PTSD. It horribly. ain't the actual balloon; it's the popping of the. It balloon is the that potential popping of it, and that came from when I was a tiny, tiny baby, P- and remember it. Early onset PTSD. <laughs> Absolutely. And it makes me very nervous, and people that have been around me, it's like, you really do have it. Yes, why would I lie about that? Really? No <laughs> shit. I mean, if I was going to tell I had something, it wouldn't be that. Yeah. You know, I would make it something 
more dramatic, it's but like people who are afraid of cats, it's like that doesn't make sense and that doesn't wrap yeah, they can be mean, but as long as you respect them most of the time, they won't mess with you. Well, you know, I don't know. They're it, pretty it, good. I understand as far as animals even, you know, because I don't like large dogs. I don't believe in owning an animal that has a bite radius larger than the circumference of your face um well that's like I, with tarantulas um people are scared of spiders but now that i know that most spiders are not venomous at least the ones that you can have as pets or whatever i'm not as afraid of them anymore you ain't bringing one in the house I, you ain't bringing this i've got a boot for that i got a boot i know i've got a boot for the for the clowns all that stuff <laughs> is it spiked bigger boots <laughs> absolutely <laughs> but it's it's one of those things that when you have a phobia and and dealing with the fear and it was a matter of no longer small child am able to fight back i don't like them but i don't feel the need to run the other way. Now what if I can we just walk fastly the now, other way. <laughs> now what if we went into Ripley's haunt uh Ripley's haunt, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um and they had a clown in it. Would you would you fight the clown even in there? It would depend. If it's one of the animatronics, I'm okay with the animatronics. But if, if it's, it's an actor. If it's an actor, if as long as they don't touch me well, they're not. But they're not allowed to. They're, touch well, anyway. I don't know because it's like it depends on how close. If they get in my circle, then I figure that they have already invaded my territory and I can protect myself. Now they can get close so as long as they don't actually touch you. You're fine. Uh, but it's just it freaks me out. They still freak me out. I have, can do any kind of theatrical makeup, be around anybody in any kind of theatrical makeup, except the clowns, because they're just. They're fucking evil. I disagree. On they that. are. It's like, I don't know. Maybe I was frightened of Judy Collins as a small child <laughs> and her song "Send in the Clowns." Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Also, um, oh God, Howdy Doody. Mm. You could watch Howdy Doody. Howdy Doody was horrible. I like Howdy Doody. Of course, she also can't. You can't stand. They had Claire Bell. Wasn't Claire Bell with her Howdy Doody? Because Howdy Doody was the puppet, and yeah, I think, think Clarabelle so. was the clown, so it could have had something to do with that. It could have been. It could have been. But you also have this weird thing with puppets, and like I, do. I love puppets. Like she, you, you hate ventriloquist dummies, I and do. ventriloquist dummies are like one of my favorite puppets. It's that just, and marionettes. The only reason you like them is because you know they freak me out. No, I genuinely love ventriloquist dummies. No, I don't. There's something bizarre about them also well it's and, the fact that they're overly exaggerated though similar to the clowns or whatever and right, right some of them are very complex as far as how they operate and of course they have those eyes which are dead and and soulless basically <laughs> and for their our folks over there in the uk punch and judy are weird they're weird they were they still yeah. are weird odd Oddly, oddly. So if you have any kind of clown phobia that you would like to share, if you have experiences with supernatural or paranormal encounters with UFOs or aliens, uh, cryptids, clowns not included in the cryptids. Haunted objects, cursed Haunted objects, ob that would work. Cursed yeah. objects. Yeah, if you've had any of that, that's Haunted a good thing. Dolls. Uh, altered realities, alternate realities, there's, with or without substances. There's actually a fear of dolls, and I don't remember what the phobia is called. I think that has, I don't, I don't remember what the name of that is either, but it has to do with anything that is I know human-like, but I know smaller. Autonomophobia is the fear of animatronics, mostly the human-esque animatronics. Right. I can see that. All I can that. understand how that would freak people out. Yeah. So any of those things, email us at cup of coffee with scream at gmail dot com and you all have a beautiful, blessed, clown free day. Send in the clowns. Have a full send, free day. Send in the clowns. <laughs> Destroy us all. Destroy us all. Destroy